Electric cars are often praised as being cheaper to run than gas cars, no oil changes, no gas stations, and fewer moving parts to break. But what most people don't talk about is that if you don't take care of your EV the right way, one mistake can lead to a repair bill bigger than the car payment itself. We're talking $10,000 or more just to replace a battery or fix a charging system. In this video, we'll cover 7 common mistakes that quietly damage your EV, mistakes many owners don't even know they're making. Fast charging all the time First off, yes, fast charging feels like a blessing. You plug your car in, grab a cup of coffee, and by the time you've gotten comfortable, you've got hundreds of miles back. It's quick, convenient, and it works when you're on the go. That's why so many people fall in love with the idea of using it every single day. It feels like magic compared to the old gas pump routine, but although it's tempting, it's a big mistake. Here's why. When you use those high-powered chargers, you're pushing a ton of electricity into the battery all at once. That creates a lot of heat, and heat is the enemy of long battery life. Batteries work best when they're kept in a steady, moderate range, not constantly blasted with extra stress. Engineers call this lithium plating, metallic lithium depositing where it shouldn't during high rate or cold charging. Inside your EV, those lithium bits start sticking where they shouldn't. And over time, your battery won't hold as much energy as it used to. That means fewer miles on the road and more frustration behind the wheel. A perfect example is Tesla owners who fast charge every day. They often see their range drop much sooner compared to those who mainly charge at home on a slower level 2 charger. And when a new battery pack costs anywhere from $6,000 to $20,000, depending on model and labor, for most folks, that's not pocket change. It's the kind of repair that makes you think twice about owning the car at all. The smart move is balance. Use a level 2 charger at home for your daily routine. It's gentle, slower, and keeps the battery cool. Save the fast chargers for road trips or when you really need them. Spacing it out keeps your battery healthy and your wallet safe. Mistake number 2. Ignoring battery thermal management in extreme weather. If you ever left a soda can in the freezer, you know what happens. It swells, cracks, and makes a mess. Leave that same soda in the sun on a hot day, and it turns flat and gross. Your EV battery is a little like that soda can, and that brings us to the second mistake that'll cost you thousands of dollars. Your EV doesn't like being too hot or too cold, yet a lot of drivers forget that extreme weather can silently wreck their car's most expensive part. When it's freezing outside, the chemistry in your battery slows way down. If you try to charge when it's that cold, you risk something called lithium plating. That's where little bits of lithium build up where they shouldn't, which slowly weakens the battery. On the other hand, in super hot weather, the opposite problem happens. The battery ages faster, kind of like leaving milk out on the counter. Over time, both situations eat away at your driving range. Studies show hot climate EVs degrade markedly faster, often approaching double the capacity loss of mild climates. And fixing a broken cooling system alone can cost $5,000 or more. If the whole package gets cooked, you're back to facing that $10,000 plus nightmare bill. The best thing to do instead is pretty simple. Use battery preconditioning. Most EVs have a feature that warms or cools the battery before you drive or charge. You can set it up on a schedule or when navigating to a fast charger. Mistake number 3. Charging to 100% daily now, let's be honest, most of us grew up with gas cars, and the rule was simple. When the tank was low, you filled it up all the way. More gas meant more miles, and you didn't have to think about it again until the next fill up. But electric cars play by different rules, and this is where a lot of new EV owners slip up. Charging to 100% every single day is one of the fastest ways to wear out your battery, and it's a mistake that can shave years off your car's life. Here's why. Lithium-ion batteries, which are inside every EV, don't like being pushed to their limit. Keeping them at full charge puts the cells under constant high-voltage stress. It's like leaving your phone plugged in overnight. Every night, after a while, you notice the battery doesn't last as long as it used to. 
The same happens to your car. But instead of replacing a $100 phone battery, you're looking at $12,000 or more for a replacement pack. On the other hand, running your EV down close to 0% all the time isn't any better. It's like starving yourself and then trying to run a marathon. Your body can't handle it. Same with your battery. That's why automakers like Tesla, Hyundai, and Volkswagen warn against daily 100% charging. They recommend keeping your daily charge between 20 and 80%. That sweet spot keeps the cells relaxed and healthy. Save the 100% top-up for long road trips when you really need every mile. Quick note for LFP batteries. If your EV uses LFP chemistry, your manufacturer may recommend charging to 100% more often to keep the range meter calibrated. Always follow your car's guidance. LFP packs are more comfortable at higher states of charge than typical NMC or NZA packs. Mistake number 4. Using a low-quality home charger or outlet. This next mistake catches people off guard because many think a charger is a charger. But when it comes to EVs, the quality of your home charger and the wiring in your house make a huge difference. And here's the problem. A cheap charger or an old outlet may not handle the amount of power your car needs. EV charging pulls electricity for hours at a time, much more than plugging in a fridge or even an oven. If the wiring isn't up to standard, it can overheat. Overheating leads to melted plugs, arcing, or in the worst cases, fires. Now let's talk about cost. If the charger damages your car's onboard charging system, the repair bill can run into thousands of dollars, sometimes $5,000 or more. And don't expect your warranty to cover it if the cause is traced back to improper charging equipment. That's money straight out of your pocket. There's also hidden costs of poor efficiency. A low-quality charger may deliver inconsistent power, which makes charging slower and less reliable. Some owners find themselves waiting hours longer than they should just because their charger can't do the job properly. The safer and smarter choice is to install a certified level 2 charger on a dedicated circuit with the help of a licensed electrician. Yes, it costs a few hundred dollars up front, but it gives you a safe, reliable setup that protects both your house and your car. Bottom line is, don't cut corners on your charger. Good equipment pays for itself by keeping your EV safe, efficient, and ready to go every morning. Mistake number 5. Driving with a damaged battery shield Moving on, the big battery under your EV is worth more than the car itself in many cases. So, automakers protect it with a strong shield or plate under the vehicle. That shield is the first line of defense. It's like armor, designed to take hits so your battery doesn't have to. But if that shield gets cracked, bent, or punctured, your EV becomes exposed to serious and expensive damage, and that mistake can cost you more than what you'd expect. A shield isn't just cosmetic, it's protecting thousands of dollars of technology. Without it doing its job, you're suddenly driving around with the most expensive part of your car sitting vulnerable. A lot of drivers don't even realize when the shield gets hurt. Maybe you went over a high curb, hit a speed bump too fast, or drove on a rough gravel road. Everyday driving can do it. You don't need to be off-road or racing to mess it up. Even one bad scrape in a parking lot can be enough. You hear a scrape and think it's nothing, but underneath, that impact might have weakened the battery shield. Once there's an opening, water, salt, and dirt can sneak inside. Over time, that can corrode the casing, wiring, and cooling system. It's slow, it's sneaky, and by the time you notice, the damage is already spreading. The costs aren't small. For example, if water or corrosion gets into the pack, repairs can run $10,000 to a full battery replacement. And once corrosion sets in, it spreads, meaning the damage may keep growing even after you notice it. It doesn't heal itself. It gets worse month after month. But here's the good news. Catching it early saves you money. During routine service, ask the mechanic to check the underbody, especially after hard hits. If you hear scraping sounds when driving, don't ignore them. Even small dents in the shield are worth inspecting. Those tiny dents are warnings, not decorations. Replacing a shield is usually a few hundred dollars, which is far cheaper than a new battery pack. So treat scrapes seriously. That thin piece of metal under your car would be the difference between a small repair and a five-figure disaster. In other words, a little caution here can save you a whole lot of regret later. Mistake number 6. Letting your battery sit at 0% or 100% for days One of the easiest ways to shorten your EV's battery life is letting it sit fully charged or completely empty for long periods. It might sound harmless, 
but both ends of the charge scale put a lot of stress on the battery cells. A lot of drivers don't realize this because with gas cars, it never mattered. You could fill the tank and leave it sitting, or run it down to fumes, and nothing really happened to the car, but batteries don't work the same way. When a battery starts at 100%, the voltage inside is very high. The cells are under pressure, almost like a balloon stretched to its limit. Keep it like that for days and best believe the materials inside the battery start breaking down faster. You won't notice it right away. The car will still drive fine, but slowly, year after year, your range gets smaller and once that range is gone, it's not coming back. On the other hand, letting your EV stay at 0% is just as bad. When the charge is fully drained, the battery chemistry can fall into what's called deep discharge. In some cases, the car may not even wake up again. That's what people call a brick battery. And here's the scary part. Once it's bricked, no charger will bring it back to life. It's game over. Then when it comes to how much it'll take from your pocket, if a pack is bricked from sitting empty, most warranties won't cover it. Automakers see it as owner neglect. That leaves you with a repair bill anywhere from $8,000 to $18,000. There are stories of owners coming back from vacation to find their car completely dead because they left it unplugged at 0%. Just imagine leaving for two weeks, only to return to a driveway with a $10,000 paperweight sitting in it. The better habit is simple. For everyday driving, try to keep your charge level somewhere in the middle. If storing the car for more than a few days, leave it around 40 to 60 percent. That's what engineers call the rest zone. And if you're going on a trip, plug in and set a charge limit. This way, you won't return to an unpleasant and very expensive surprise. Before we get into the final mistake number 7 that will cost you thousands of dollars in repair, if you're enjoying this or you just want to avoid a 5-figure mechanic bill, then hit the like button and subscribe. Mistake number 7. Assuming no maintenance means no maintenance. Now, a lot of people buy an electric car thinking, great, no more oil changes, no more trips to the mechanic, and that's true to a point. EVs don't need oil changes, timing belts, or spark plugs like gas cars do. But that doesn't mean they're maintenance-free. Owning an EV comes with responsibilities, and forgetting about them can cause problems down the line. If you ignore the small stuff, you could end up with some very big bills. It might not show up right away, but these issues build up slowly, and when they finally hit, the cost can be shocking. Let's start with coolant. Even though EVs don't have engines, they still use coolant to keep the battery and electronics at a safe temperature. Over time, that coolant breaks down, and if not flushed and replaced, the system can overheat. A failed battery management system or damaged heater can cost you anywhere from $3,000 to $6,000. That's not a bill anyone wants, and the frustrating part is that it's easy to avoid if you just stick to the schedule. Now, let's talk brakes. Because EVs use regenerative braking, the additional brake pads don't get used as often. That sounds like a good thing, but here's the catch. Less use can mean the brake parts can start to rust and corrode. When that happens, they don't work properly in an emergency stop. And when you really need them, that can be dangerous as well as expensive. Then there are air filters. Cabin air filters and cooling system filters keep the car's system running clean. If they get clogged, fans and pumps work harder, wearing them out sooner. That means more strain on the car and a higher chance of costly repairs. The good news is that EV maintenance schedules are pretty light compared to gas cars. You might only need a coolant flush every 5 to 7 years, a brake service check once a year, and filter replacements every couple of years. Now, compare that to constant oil changes and tune-ups of a gas car, and you'll see that it's very little work. So, don't fall for the no-maintenance myth. It's not much work, but skipping it can cost you thousands later. A little attention now saves a lot of money and stress later. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.